Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. <laughs> I am done milking cows this morning, so it was an early start for me today. But right now, I have to feed some calves. And I'm really feeling it today. So much so that I'm already listening to Christmas music. <laughs> I'm one of those people, yes. I won't play Christmas music until it's Christmas in the videos, but just know I am a Christmas person, not a Halloween person. <laughs> so we've got our buckets full for the group of steers. We have four bottles ready to go. And we have two calves to needle this morning. So let's get to work. So these guys were dehorned on Wednesday, so like three days ago, four days ago. And they're all doing really good. Still sucking on each other, but oh well. I also wanted to quickly say thank you guys for all of the video suggestions on my last video in the comment section. There are a lot of good ideas that I think are gonna help me get out of my little YouTube block. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little bit of extra inspiration. So thank you guys for helping me out with that.
anybody that is new here, because there are quite a few of you guys, welcome to the channel. I am currently feeding calves with what we call the milk taxi. So this lovely machine gets charged up every time in between feedings and I can use all of these different buttons to measure out exactly how much milk each calf needs. So every calf gets the same amount of milk and they do really, really well because of it. We used to have to carry around those five gallon pails and then we would use little pitchers like this to scoop out all the milk, which takes a lot longer and this is a lot easier. So we're really happy with how this works. We've been using it now for probably four years now. So it was a massive upgrade and a very welcome one. So we've got two little sickies here. This is the one I just needled. That was her last treatment. She's looking a lot better. You can see her eyes look good. Her nose looks good. She's a healthy looking gal. And then we go to this next one. She's also good. She's not had a problem yet. But her eyes look good. Her nose looks good. And she's looking bright and alert. Then, we go to this little lady and she's looking a lot less happy. Her eyes are kind of deep in her head. I don't know if you guys can see that on video, but she just looks kind of sad. So whatever has gotten her sick. Let's see, show me your eyes, honey, come on. So you can see she's a little bit sunken in in her eyes. And if you look at her from this angle, you can tell kind of that she's sunken in on her sides as well. And as a bonus, she's got diarrhea that looks really kind of light yellow. So she's got a little bit of pneumonia, most likely. So that's what we're treating her for right now. And she's also off her milk. So she has not regressed since we started treating her but sometimes it can be like a snap difference between the morning feeding and the afternoon feeding. And so I fed this calf in the morning on the 13th of October. It's the 15th of October today. And then my mom fed her on the 13th of October in the afternoon. And that was already enough of a difference between my morning feeding and mom's afternoon feeding where it was like, oh, this calf isn't feeling well. So it can happen really, really quickly. And if you don't catch it quick enough, then sometimes you will lose the calf. So we've already started all of the treatments. If she goes more than two consecutive feedings without wanting to eat, we will start to tube feed her because she needs to stay hydrated. If they are not hydrated, they will die from their diarrhea from dehydration. So there's a lot of things that can happen really quickly that you need to really be watching for, otherwise you will lose animals. So I'm gonna be giving her her treatment. I'm gonna see if I can coax her into drinking her milk. Doesn't look like she's too interested this time. So this afternoon, if she doesn't wanna eat, I will be tube feeding her. There is enough muscle in a calf's neck to be able to needle them there. There's a little triangle here in this area, kinda, you wiggle bum. Right here, that you can needle them in, that has enough muscle that it's not gonna hurt them. So, that's why we needle them there. So it's the evening calf feeding. And I just had something happen to me that happens every so often when you're trying to pale train calves, and that is being bitten by a calf. And yes, it can happen. They have a bottom row of teeth, but no top teeth. They have gummies for top. 
in their mouth. However, they could still bite. And it really freaking hurts sometimes. So, this little lady. Sometimes you will get very mad and very frustrated and you just have to walk away. <laughs> so she bit me, like I've never been bitten by a calf like this, like sometimes they'll kind of like chew on you, whatever. She bit the end of my finger and pulled on it. So like she scraped all of her bottom teeth on my finger. And sometimes you get really frustrated with that kind of stuff because it hurts. So what I do with her, with a calf like that, is I grab a nipple, I guess, like this, and I will just like lead them into the pail with that because I don't care if they bite this. Like she even bit this thing and ripped it out of my hand. Like she was chomping on my finger. She's a little bit psychotic. <laughs> so calves like that are really frustrating to work with because they can actually like really slice up your finger with their bottom teeth. They're fairly sharp. So sometimes it's not always fun to teach baby calves how to drink out of a pail. And if they are really aggressive like that, most of the times we'll just put them back on the, on the skinny bottle. But I just wanted to share with you guys that I even, yeah, I get frustrated. I try to be as patient as possible, but when stuff like that happens, I do get, you know, kind of pissed off and I have to walk away. <laughs> then I come back and then I was like, okay, I'll just use the bottle, nipple, and she's learned how to drink out of a pail now, but it's, I cannot tell you how frustrating it is to see something so stinking cute that could still deal a decent amount of damage. <laughs> Stinky, you're mean. So, here with the little hobble baby. So, she's doing really good as well. She's a, she, she really is a sweetie. And her name has to start with a D, as in dynamite or Dana. Her mom's name was Dana, I believe. So, her name has to start with a D. And um, yeah, drop a suggestion down below. We still have to name her. <laughs> All done. Good job, buddy. And then we have this guy. He was born this morning. Cutie. He is a big boy. Really heavy. So here we have that calf that was not feeling too good this morning. And she's had about three liters of milk now and about a liter of electrolytes water. So she's, she's looking much more happy. You can see that already. So that's a really good sign. Her eyes are still kind of deep, but she's feeling good enough to be able to drink a certain, like a decent amount. And she's not as concave in her body. So she's, she's, She's looking better already. Um, again, that's between the morning and the evening feeding. So it's insane how much they can change within like 12 hours. Hi, you're a good girl. You're feeling better, huh? You just didn't want to be tube fed. Yeah. Um, excuse me? You're too young for a boyfriend? No. Oh. Oh, a girlfriend. My bad. You're still too young. Okay. <laughs> so, it's a couple days later. Uh, I went to the hairdresser today with my mom, as you can tell. And I lost my hair tie, so... It's uh, a Vogue calf feeding this evening, but they're all looking pretty good. And apparently, apparently that sick heifer from earlier in this video is doing a lot better already. So that was a couple days ago when I filmed that. So we're gonna go 
Check her out right now. So this was Sicky Girl. Look at how much more energetic she is. She is looking happy. Her eyes are not so deep in her head now. And she's excited for food. Look at that silly little tuft of hair she's got there. So she's doing much better. So this is just after a couple days of that medication and she's looking way happier. So this is the perfect outcome. Right? You silly cutie. You're feeling better, aren't you? Yes, you are. Good job. And we wanna get them better as soon as possible because the longer they're not eating properly, the longer they're not gonna be growing for. And our aim is to have really healthy, fast growing calves, no matter if they're steers or heifers. So it really helps us out if we are really quick on that because then they can get back to eating normal and growing fast.